Welcome, everyone, to Fear and Desperation, our channel dedicated to bringing you stories about serious accidents caused by wild animals worldwide. Our aim is to provide accurate information about the victims and the incident. Surely, all of us have watched the Game of Thrones series. Today, we have a story about a visual effects editor for popular films. She and her team have received numerous prestigious awards for their contributions to the art. She lived a beautiful life, acquainted with many famous people, traveled all over the world, and engaged in charitable activity. Unfortunately, her life was tragically cut short in an accident in 2015. Let's now hear the details of the cyber attack story involving a lion. Catherine Chapel was a young and beautiful girl with a trendy fashion style. Being involved in the television and film industry, she had many opportunities to meet and connect with famous individuals. Her fashion style was constantly changing, and she was not only stylish, but also very intelligent. Catherine Chapel worked as a visual effects editor for Skinline, a company in Vancouver, Canada, since 2013. She contributed to the visual effects of the famous HBO series Game of Thrones and other films like Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and Divergence. Catherine and her team won a Primetime Emmy Award for the Game of Thrones episode The Children in 2014. The Primetime Emmy is one of the most important awards in the television industry, part of the Emmy Awards. In May 2015, Chappell traveled to South Africa for charity work and fundraising for an organization dedicated to protecting wild animals from poaching. She visited the lion park with an experienced guide named Pierre Potgiator, 66 years old. The lion park is a wildlife park near Johannesburg, South Africa. Established in 1966, it is one of the renowned tourist attractions in the region. The park is famous for its lion conservation and breeding efforts. It provides visitors with opportunities to have close encounters with lions and other wild animals through tour programs and immersive experiences. Visitors can take guided vehicle tours to explore the park and observe lions in their natural environment. There are even special night tours available to witness lions in action under the cover of darkness, offering a unique experience for visitors. In addition to lions, Lion Park also houses other wild animals such as hippos, African elephants, African elephants, African porcupines, and giraffes. Visitors can observe them in secure fenced areas, or even have direct contact with some species under the supervision of expert staff. On June 1st, Catherine Chapel was excited about this new experience. She, along with the guide, went to Lion Park, they bought tickets at the entrance, and then Chapel sat in the driver's seat while Pierre Potgeiter sat in the back seat. Potgeiter observed the park from the same perspective as his guest to provide the best tour commentary. Chapel happily drove on the dirt road and through tall bushes, observing male lions with their majestic and glossy manes, while the lionesses roamed around, examining the visitor. Pierre Potgeiter enthusiastically shared the park's history its establishment, and the process of building Lion Park, as well as how the first lions were brought there. He passionately told stories about the landmarks and the characteristics of lions. Chapel listened eagerly with a constant smile on her face. As Chapel made a turn, she noticed two lions, a male and a female, strolling lazily, seemingly indifferent to the surroundings. Chapel exclaimed, this male lion's mane is as beautiful as a girl's hair, so shiny. Potgeiter followed Chapel's pointing hand and agreed with her opinion. Chapel raised her phone to capture the image of the specially manned male lion, but the video quality through the protective glass seemed slightly blurry, not meeting her expectation. Chapel noticed that the two lions seemed unconcerned about the vehicle and the unfamiliar guests. They appeared gentle. She leaned forward a bit, looking at the lioness lying about two meters away. Chapel pressed the button to open the car window and started filming, while Potgeiter continued to sit in the back seat, enthusiastically narrating interesting facts about Lion Park, completely unaware of the young woman's dangerous action. Terrifyingly, at that moment, the lioness suddenly stood up 
and charged toward Chapel, biting her neck. Chapel panicked, screaming and trying to push the creature away. Meanwhile, Pot Getter, sitting behind her, couldn't believe his eyes as the horrifying event unfolded. He forcefully struck the lioness on the head, attempting to make her release Chapel. The lioness's claws also scratched Pot Getter, causing a serious injury to his arm. Despite the pain, he tried to fight back against the lioness to save his guest's life. However, with overwhelming strength, the lioness immediately dragged Chapel out of the vehicle through the lowered window. At that moment, intense screams from the victim and panicked cries from other visitors witnessing the incident could be heard. Two Lion Park employees ran to rescue Chapel with guns, but it was too late. The lion immediately fled, leaving Chapel lying motionless with severe injuries to her neck and shoulders, bleeding profusely. She died shortly thereafter, before the rescue team arrived at the scene. Pot Guider, while attempting to save Chapel, also suffered deep wounds on both arms and later experienced a heart attack due to the overwhelming and traumatic event. Following the incident, a spokesperson for Lion Park accused Chapel and Pot Guider of disregarding safety warnings, opening the car window and driving around the lion area, leading to the tragic accident. On Pod Getter's side, he denied these allegations, stating that the car window had only been opened for a few seconds before the lion attacked Chapel. He claimed that he was unaware that she had lowered the window. Pot Jader strongly opposed the notion that he had allowed the visitor to violate Lion Park's safety protocols. After the horrifying incident, the female lion that attacked Chapel was confined separately and received special care. She was not killed. Chapel's death was a significant shock to her family. In a Facebook post, her mother Mary, father Joan, sisters Jennifer and Lauren, and brother Ryan expressed their grief and respect for Chapel. They described her as an intelligent, kind-hearted woman who loved adventure and had a high spirit. She was loved by many and shared her love for life with everyone she met. Chapel's funeral was attended by a large number of people, including several celebrities. They all expressed their condolences for the talented young woman who had made significant contributions to the film industry. Similar to other accidents we have covered, in this case, the young woman took a risk by lowering the car window to capture better video and photos of the lion. This action went against Lion Park's regulations, resulting in her tragic death and causing severe injuries to the tour guide as well. A talented and happy life like hers came to an end due to a lack of caution and seriousness in following the safety guidelines. It is truly unfortunate that the young girl lost her beautiful life because of one careless minute and had to endure a painful ending. And that concludes our video. In our upcoming videos, we will delve into intriguing insights about severe animal attacks on humans. We encourage you to follow us, share your thoughts, and provide suggestions to inspire us in creating better content. If you enjoyed what you watched, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in, goodbye, and we'll see you next time.